Mounting your own snowboard bindings lets you fine-tune adjustments for a perfect ride. You'll need a number 3 Phillips head screwdriver and the hardware that came with your bindings. First, you have to figure out which foot goes at the front of your board. This is called your lead foot. Let yourself fall forward or have someone gently push you. Whichever foot you catch yourself with is likely your lead foot and will go at the front of your board. You can tell which end is the tip by the direction of the logo. Before you mount your bindings, you need to decide on your stance width or the distance between your bindings. A slightly wider stance often makes for a more stable ride, while a narrower stance makes for faster edge-to-edge -edge transitions. If your board indicates its center mounting position, that's usually a good place to start. If you don't see this indicated, use the set of holes in the middle of the group. And remember, you can always adjust your stance width later if you find the center mount is not right for you. Mount the binding for your lead foot first. You can tell which binding is which by their curve, just like your boots. Also, bindings always buckle on the outside of your foot. Remove the cushioning bed and set it aside, but leave the section under your toe in place. Now center your binding over the holes you'll use and place the disc on top. Make sure that the long slots are facing the same direction that your feet will go. Next, you need to set your binding angle. If you don't already know your favorite angles, it's best to start with your lead foot set 15 degrees forward. Again, you can always adjust this angle later. Each mark represents 3 degrees, so line up the arrow with the 15 degree tick mark. Make sure you choose the mark that points your binding toward the tip of the board and not the tail. Next, lightly insert the screws and washers diagonally in a star pattern to keep the screws straight. Once you have all the screws in, put your boot in the binding to make sure it's centered over the board. The goal is to reduce or eliminate toe and heel drag as you turn. It's especially important to make sure your toes don't hang over too far. When it's centered, remove your boot and tighten the screws until they're snug. Make sure not to over tighten and strip the screws. Finish up by replacing the cushioning bed. Now you can repeat the process on your back foot. Your back foot should be set at a slight backward angle, try 6 degrees. Again, make sure the binding is pointing toward the tail. To recap, determine your lead foot and start with that binding. Loosely mount the binding for your lead foot at 15 degrees forward. Make sure your boot is centered over the board and tighten the screws. And repeat the process for your back binding at 6 degrees back.